welcome all of you to this important and uh, significant event uh, where all the students from the universities here in Kenya and colleges uh, will actually get together and you know, interact and uh, you know, uh, get to know one another. Uh, it is our great honor to actually have our uh, elders here today in this uh, particular event. We are very honored uh, by your presence here, and it is an encouragement that uh, you have actually, you know, left all that you are doing, and you have accepted to, to come here and be with us. So we are really very grateful, and I kindly ask all of us to give them a round of applause uh, for this, uh, you know, kind of uh, honor they have given us today. Students Association would like to say thank you so much for coming to attend this function. This is the second function of its time. The first one took place in 2019, March, and we are so happy that we have met again. We are so happy that we've gathered again to see ourselves and to say thank you for meeting and thank you. We'll celebrate together and have fun. So last year we didn't have this function because of COVID-19 and other problems, but we are grateful that we are able to meet again and have a celebration. Um, precisely, ladies and gentlemen, why we're here today is to celebrate the SAS Venice University Students Annual Dinner. For some of us, or for most of us who might not know what SAS University Students Annual Dinner is, it is a body that was formed in the year 2019 for the first time in history. And the motive of having this body is that we students from various universities and colleges in Kenya, we realize the significance of coming up with an event that is in line with our sole purpose of staying here in Kenya, which is education. And what we realize is that we had to come up with a dinner program that brings all of us together, eat on the same table, and this will be a symbol that will unite us. It will bring peace, love, and unity among the South Sudanese students in Kenya. We need to connect, we need to network as students in various universities and colleges in Kenya. Get to know each other. Uh, there is a statement that uh, your network is your network. So the person you get to know today will help you a lot or may need almost the rest of, 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 of his life to you or the rest of your life to him. We invite the, the diplomat from our own embassy in Kenya to speak to us and convey any message you'd like to send to students' fraternity in Kenya. We also, in this forum or in such a platform, is where we always have the government uh, officials from South Sudan once in the country and this event takes place. It's 
always a good platform for them to be mad about what is happening back at home in South Sudan. So uh, it is a platform whereby the religious leaders as well at this gathering are able to also convey their religious information to the students' fraternity in Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is in brief what South Sudan what does what in brief what South Sudanese University students are not in now is all about. Today is a very happy day because the Almighty God has brought us to 2022 in good health and with prospect for a better 2022. All South Sudanese aspire for a better South Sudan, especially the young people who are in Kenya. All of us participate in politics because we believe that politics is the one that changes the direction that the country takes. Because it is the leaders that influence everything that happens in a country. Just like a father influences the children in the house. And I can tell you for free. If the father is a thief and the children get to learn that the father is a thief, trust me, the children, two or one of them, will be a thief in future. Why? Because we learn by observation. We learn from our elders. I want to encourage us as the young people of South Sudan, because we have all turned into politicians. If you really want to influence the life of our people, and you want to change the life of our people, you need to be ethical leaders in your respective places. If you are in the hostel, be that good guy who tells people what to do at the right time. If you are in the house, you should be the guide to the young children in that house. Ethical leadership is about questioning what you want to serve. If you serve self-interest, then you are not an ethical leader. But if you are serving the society, the society rewards you in return for what you are giving to them. That is what is called ethical leadership. Committing yourself to serving the society. And the first step to service is this one. My brother, let me tell you, the first step to service is being a hard-working person. If you are in school, or if you are a professional who is working, make sure you commit yourself to do your school very well, number one. Number two, if you are a professional, make sure you do what your profession requires of you. So that you can influence people in your area of profession. Today I am going to know a new face that I did not know. I will know one person from Red Committee. I will know another person from Equatorial Committee. That is what our country wants. By coming together and getting to know one person from very far place, then you are bringing people together. My last statement is this, and it is going to our end. Here in Kenya, our young people are not united. Maybe you have observed, I am calling upon you to speak them to us today. The reason why we came is to listen to you, so that we have sense of direction. We have to be very keen about how we make use of our network. The network you have here is what is going to be your bridge in the near future. You could have a friend in the government, and while you are doing diplomacy, because of him and his relationship, he will recommend you to come back and have your internship in Kenya. Because of the friendship you have with his child, he will give you that favor. And also, when you are performing very well, your performance will provoke a grace and will provoke a man to come and pay for your tuition. So it is very good to manage your time. Make use of your time and do your homework, be a hard working student. Because it's, it's not about resources, it's about your commitment. I have also come across to one of the challenges which was being addressed by the speaker, the clerk. That suck is not function. And the office is the job. If you a student in Kenya, you don't have a body, you don't have any student association as your umbrella, 
to address your differences. This gathering should have been organized by such. But we thank God for Good Samaritan, one of your great brothers, CEO Daniel Munek, who volunteered. I have seen the urgent needs of your need to come together to see one another because I'm very sure you are from different institutions and you have no any chance to meet or to come in this number to have a meal together. A meal is simple of love. Meal is simple of deliverance. Meal is simple of restorations. If you don't have a communion, they will know any blessing upon you. The distance or the journey you have now to, 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 to finish the line, it is only a blink of eye. Don't ever allow yourself to be discouraged. Don't take cheap price. Because the price paid on you is very expensive. Do not allow anybody to deceive you. If you want to be a medical doctor, if you don't bring any good grade this year, say I will make it next year. If you want to be an engineer, don't drop out and take a small course by saying because I will not be able to do this because this one is too hard. God has called us in different ministries. And it is all for the glory of God. I want to uh, convey my sincere gratitude to all fellow students for making the right choice to unite. This is the true color of South Sudan. Though we are struggling for political agenda, our country yet yet remain united. South Sudan is struggling for political agenda. We are so divided because of so many little organizations that need leadership. But one day, we will be united under one president, under our five vice presidents, and we will be one. I believe you founded this organization because there are some values that are instilled in you, you student. Value of leadership. I believe you have a value of leadership, that's why you found this student, isn't it? I believe you have a value of integrity. That's why you found this, this uh, uh, student union. I believe you have a value of innovation. And I believe you have a value of teamwork. This is the value I believe you all share in the student union. You have not only but from them, passion might have broken our our relationship but must not break our bond of comradeship. Uh, we need to take this value, especially in South Sudanese, and let's use them to bring ourselves together. Everywhere you go, as a person, you should have values. And those values also will give you manners. We always fight because, because we don't have manners. It's become even an habit we fight women. So we need to inherit good manners so we can respect ourselves. I would say long live South Sudan. Also say long live uh, to our president and long live to our vice, vice president. And I love you all, my people of South Sudan. Thank you.
freedom need to make some time. I will give you now. If you have a political issue where you want to let some time, please, this some. I'm a witness to some. I'm a beneficiary to some. Few of us who have benefit, maybe suck as pay our expenses. How can we come together? How can we make suck to be attractive? The suck of long time ago. Many of the leaders that have come out from suck, they are leaders now in San Sudan. But if you want to reduce yourself, just put yourself on the interest of other people, I may not judge you. But it is not good to just to die for the interest of someone else. That is what I want to tell you. Interest is something that we can minimize, we can reduce. We can come together if you accept the interest of the other group, and this group can interest. Uh, eh? Let me not destroy our organization because of the interest. Uh, Mr. Malik Marian, the young man who organized this, want to receive big appreciation on my own behalf and the behalf of my ambassador and the whole mission Malik, you have shown leadership with your team leadership is that of where you are where you are if your voice can be heard and people come around you that shows you are already a leader. So, Marian, keep on with your team and take it as a new beginning. You have to keep on doing such a thing because this number to come and attend this occasion, it is not a simple thing. When ambassador sent me, a new student are not together because this one of SAP that has come up here, has come to us, to our attention, long time ago. And the embassy tried to tell the student that, come together, you unite, and organize yourself. The committee was formed, duty by Deputy Commission, Ambassador Monica. She tried, she even tried to help, but when the student didn't come to Baden, that project ended like that. Problem of SAP that I have forgotten. Why SAP problem is not finishing? It is because the students are not finishing. They are not graduating. So why do you, if, if, if somebody really started the school in 2015, and the SAP problem is started in 2015, and that student is still up to now, 2022, how can that problem finish? It's not a lot of nothing. They don't know where to go. If sir, you want to finish that problem, you have to buy yourself. Why you don't even want to leave the school? Don't let them go to something. <laughs> Alejandro, Alejandro, the top. I, I, I met him in this time. And when Alejandro became president of SAP, they finished and then left. Then when the document went on, and that is a problem up to now, and Alejandro, you see him on SSBC broadcasting. So those who are still here, and Alejandro is doing things on national TV, when are you going to join Alejandro? If you don't want to finish, leave Chuck alone. <laughs> So Sudan is a still begging. Nothing has been taken, nothing has been done. The country is still begging. It's still begging, and if you are ready, you are the one who is going to enjoy it. If you are not ready, you will remain outside. So tonight, I want to tell you, my brothers, don't think of others. Think of yourself. If you will finish, go there, you will get a job. You will get a job. If the other one didn't get a job, it is because you were not in the same plan. It is not in the same or she is different and you are different. 
My name is Sarah, and also known as Nuni of Monwar. I am part and parcel of the South Sudan Reading Society. We are an organization that promotes reading and literature. What brought you to Kenya? You came here to study, right? And we all know that most of us are not here with our parents, which means that your guardian who brought you, that is the parent. Now do not go around disrespecting that guardian when that guardian tries to correct you. And if you are studying, study for a purpose. They say hard work beats talent when talent does not work hard. What do I mean? If you are not good uh, with exams and you do not pass them well, there are other things that you can do. You can play basketball, but that does not mean that you neglect your education. Are we together? For the people who have come from abroad, you people are our part. If you find a child that is Southern Sudanese and he or she has an interest in things like basketball, please take the hand of that child and look for opportunities for that child. I personally have a cousin. His name is Madhuk Chibute. He is now in the United States of America, and the only thing that took him there is basketball, simply because he played it well and he is six feet tall. Second thing, the second thing that I am going to talk about is unity. They say unity is strength, and it is not a lie. I love it when I find Southern Sudanese gathered together, and instead of saying that this is a Dinka, this is a Nuer, they say, this is my brother, this is my sister. It means a lot. My mother is a Dinka, my father is a Nuer. And I like it so much when I see Southern Sudanese sitting down as one people. Because where we are going, it is a country that we are the people who are going to build it. Everyone who is seated here, is the next leader of tomorrow, but please do not be cheated. Some are here to pass time, while some are here for a purpose. So you should aspire to inspire before you expire. Someone say. On stage is Nyauri Aliera Polo. I'm a student at the University of Nairobi studying inter international studies, majoring in international security. The first poem will be on gender-based violence. It is known in our society as the South Sudanese society. It is happening in our families. Our mothers or our fathers are being violated by their partners. And so it is our role, it is our voices to speak about it because gender-based violence is being tolerated in the South Sudanese community. From his love to a living corpse, from his sweetheart to this of us. A canvas he raised, a canvas he paints, a dark part for me. You see, she was a beauty, but she was dusted with blows that binded her body to his immorality. That is because when we need the love that turned it one to adoption, assumptions that she was of the wrong assumptions that she treated it all, assumptions that she pushed into the world. So a society which her back complains that claimed her insecurity, imprisoning back her voice that cried out that the moment, the moment she opened her voice, she said she was the king. Because she was told that when she suffered, her children would be her blessing. So we watched her. We watched her die, we went in and out, but every day she watched. Every single day she lived was a nightmare, you see, she died one at a time. Some in her body were aches that deprived her of breath, deprived her of happiness, deprived her of sanity, she was gasping for freedom. But she was choking in depression, she was drowning in confusion, suffocating in love. in sorrow, that to her, to her it was sweet sorrow, because this, this was the man she loved. So tell me, how she, how could she complain 